President Bola Tinubu issuing a stern warning to terrorists and insurgents, urging them to surrender or face an intensified military campaign. He made this declaration while opening the um, inaugural annual international lecture that was held on Thursday in Abuja. Now, the lecture was themed Insecurity in the Sahel, 2008-2024, to dissecting Nigeria's challenges, genesis, impacts, and options, was organized by NAN to address the ongoing insecurity in Sahel region and its effect on Nigeria. President Tinubu has emphasized his administration's commitment to defeating terrorism and restoring peace in the country how much have we gone with the fight against terrorism in Nigeria from your analysis? You've been around for a long time. Mm, I've been in the country. You know, terrorism is not something one can fight to end for now, from what, from my point of view, observation, okay. because um, it has a branch, a link with some top personnel in the government. So, so that's that, what you believe? That's what I believe, yes. They don't just go there and start terrorizing or killing people up What's and giving now. you that ideology? Yeah, because uh, when you look at, at times people come up, they want to call names. At times people come up, oh, so so person wants to go and negotiate with them. How do you know them? Because they are marked people. They, they, we don't even know them. So how do you know that you want to go and negotiate? So such... These are, you, you, we don't expect that the security would not know them. If security agencies come and tell us that they want to negotiate with these people or meet with these people, mm -hmm. we don't expect that they should not know them or they should not be able to, you know, identify them or locate them. That's why they are security agencies. Um, not really the security agencies. Yes, they will know, but those can, that cannot work like security agencies mm. going to the negotiate with them. It has to be somebody they will accept to come in. Okay. Yes, you can't say a soldier or a policeman wants to come and negotiate with you, with a terrorist. It's not going to be possible. But they will use their friend to negotiate with them. So if a friend called them, okay, I'm coming on behalf of the government to come and negotiate with you. But I think there was a time Americans, during Good Luck Jonathan, Americans came in and went around and saw the whole thing that it's not something they can achieve immediately because there have been betrayal, there have been so many things, you know, involved. So me, I look at it that um, people orchestrating this whole thing are in the government or are people who have the finance to, like, want to destroy the nation. That's what you feel. Yes. So to fight terrorism, yes, you can kill the people, the, 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 the terrorists, the people fighting. But what of the people at the back of the camera? Let me just put it as an example. You know, we are sitting in front of the camera. The people at the back of the camera, what about them? And they are the one orchestrating the whole thing. So I'm talking about those people sponsoring terrorists are the people you should chase instead of chasing the terrorists, the terrorists. first. Well, you know, um, aside chasing the people who are sponsoring the terrorists, we're not going to take the terrorists out of the picture anyway. No, the terrorists, mainly they are people, they are bound to, we are bound to fight them. The, we, the, our security agencies are bound to fight them. Either they win or they lose. So those ones are quite obvious. But those people sponsoring them, because when you kill the people you're seeing, what of those people? They will still bring in another person, uh, other, another group you don't know mm. about. So you don't think they are going for the sponsors at all? I, mean, I have not heard that, oh, we are going for terrorist sponsors. When the person, like Tinibu said, is going, to, is going for the terrorists. You understand? But I have not heard we are going for the terrorist sponsors. Because first of all, if you want to cut a tree and you cut from the top, it will still grow. So you cut from the grass, the, from the root. Hmm. So mm -hmm. how, how, do you, how do you suggest we go about this now? Because you, you, have, you have told us that you think, you actually feel like there's a connection with some of the people in leadership, right? Yes. With, exactly. the ter with terrorism and all of that. People are sponsoring it or people who, are, how, who actually have the finance to yes. put into this thing. So how, how exactly would, would we now solve this problem of 
terrorism. This step that Tinubu has mentioned, facing military, telling the terrorists that if you don't stop, you're going to face military, right? Mm -hmm. How, do you think that that is actually a step that would actually help the situation at the moment? If not, what would you recommend? For me, saying is one and doing is another thing. Then achieving the whole thing is another ball game. So he has said it. Terrorists too must have heard, meaning that they are going to beef up their their ammunition and everything. That's on, on the side of terrorists. On now. the entire side of the terrorists. So that's what you think this information will do for them now. Though. Yes, Don't because they will beef up their information, their their military, and mm. everybody to go for the terrorists. Okay. But my own point of view, my own what I'm trying to say is, when you go for the terrorists, what of those sponsors? There there must be sponsors. It's just like when protests came up. You understand? This protest came up and did not work because the sponsors were also chased. The, the protest didn't work? The, 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 the protest. Yes, it didn't work. You don't it think, didn't work. You, didn't think, you don't think it worked? It, would ne it never worked. Why? Why do you think it Yes, didn't? because after the whole protest, everything mm. just rise. There was no negotiation. Okay, we've heard you people. This is what we are coming, bringing on table now. What are you bringing? Okay, let's negotiate. And no, everything instead. I just after the protest, fuel well, price. It was still after raised. the protest that we had the minimum wage announced and all of minimum that. Minimum wage had been there. Has been the already. The conversation had been on. Yes, yes, but it was part of the reasons that the protest was up for. Mm -hmm. that, that it was already we already know seventy uh, thousand naira minimum wage is coming, so that's not the my, the main thing. Okay. Fuel price to break to come down, and other things that follows, but those things were not achieved, because there was nobody fronting okay, and those people must have been negotiated or must have redrawn before the day of the protest. But then they had the, the fearless protest a few days ago. How do you think that one went? That you never worked. <laughs> but we didn't have a lot of people come out for that. That's why. That's what I'm telling you. See, when, when you see either protest or uh, crime or whatever thing coming out in the city or in the state or in the country, there must be somebody sponsoring. Let me give you, for instance, NSACS came up. I think the NSACS was sponsored by Yahoo Boys. That's what you think. Yes. <laughs> because nobody really uh, came up like, we want to NSACS. No. The whole idea came up. Yahoo Boys were the major people that, that were the victim of that NSACS, uh, the SACS issue. No, so, it wasn't just Yahoo Boys, anyway. Yes. Yeah, but let me just no, okay, youths, go on. Uh, the youth, youths, and those that have the finance among the youths were mostly the Russia who boys that has internet money okay. and all the rest. You understand? So when they came up with the idea to end us, they started financing. I think at Lake, even before the killing came up, there were a lot of you know um, food coming around. My friends, most of them were even there, telling me, "Ah, we are eating. You know, we are alive here." Oh. Before we started here, yeah, gunshot. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's why like, everywhere. So people must sponsor. But in this protest, mm. this past protest now, I think before the protest, it was announced, and Nigerian Nigerian government have learned their lessons based on what happened during the answers. Mm. So I guess their intelligence, the intelligence among them must have gone, what must have gone after those people that are really behind the, the protest. The organizers. The organizers, you understand? Either negotiate with them or arrest them, or one way or the other. That might not come on, on, on air that we are going to hear. Because we know that what we heard about that conversation was them asking who the organizers are. They should come out, but then they did not come out. That's for the end bad governance protest. Yeah, now. exactly. That's the one you're making. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. They would not come out, but you know, Nigerian government are not fools now. So when they hear, oh, this thing wants to come up, even if you don't see sponsors, you can call the head of the uh, the youths. You understand? Head of this, head of that. Those people work are head of uh, the labor and all the rest, and talk with them. So if the youth president did not come out to say, ah, we are going, most youths will not come out. Okay. 
So you understand. So either by negotiation or by violence or by any way, mm. the, the Nigerian government must have done that homework. That's what you feel. Yes. But, but then the, the protest held. Yeah, the protest held because this common man really wants to change. You understand? The common man like you and I really wants to change. So we came to voice out to, to, to bring out our this thing, anger and whichever thing we think the government should do for us. You understand? But you know, if there is a sponsor, it will get to that point where there will be negotiation. You understand? So who wants to come out to negotiate? Nobody. So that's why the protest did not really go, hold like the way we expected. Mm. I'm not really supporting protest, violent protest, no. You understand? But in every protest, meaning that there is anger, in the people's mind and you have to give them the freedom of speech to come out and voice out their anger their grievance you know